Hey, my name is Scott Hartman. I am a vertebrate paleontologist who specializes in dinosaurs. And I'm probably best known for taking bones and turning them into skeleton rock. Making skeletal drawings uh, is a multi-step process. It usually starts with preferably lots of photographs and measurements of the original specimens, either gathered on my own or generously shared by colleagues. Uh, sometimes it requires uh, extracting photos of images you know, from publications. And then there's a whole lot of, of course, drawing the individual bones, cross-scaling everything with a little first year algebra in order to make sure all the bones are the right size, there are techniques to try to make sure you're not cutting off the edges of the bone as you draw them, so to speak, so they don't quite look their full size. Of course, in the process of it, I always have to review all the published literature on not just that specific extinct animal, but its relatives, uh, in case we have to fill in gaps, you want to know, you know, what what those bones should look like, what size they are, and their closest relatives, etc. And then, it's just a whole lot of digital drawing. I, uh, it doesn't have to be digital. I used to do these back in the day in pen and ink uh, on papyrus. That part was a joke. But I did eventually switch sometime about 20 years ago to working digitally and I haven't looked back since. What's nice about digital is that you can repose them much more easily. If you've drawn a skeleton on a piece of paper with pen and ink, it's pretty much that's the position it's going to be in. Uh, digitally speaking, of course, you can repose it, so if you need to see an animal in a certain position to illustrate an idea or a story beat, you can repose them relatively quickly with only minimal redrawing of the black muscle profile around them. I've been lucky in that I've gotten to work on a couple of really good uh, dinosaur documentaries in the last decade or more. Uh, but this is something unique. This isn't going to be a documentary, although there's a lot of effort to make the dinosaurs and the environment as scientifically accurate as possible. This is very much going to be a story. And that's a really interesting opportunity, I feel, for storytelling that has been attempted in the past, but maybe, maybe can be turned up to 11 in this case. So I've been working on a project called Dinosaur Empire. I've been providing sort of scientific consulting on the anatomy and therefore sort of a small aspect of the design of the main characters. Allosaurs, and Stegosaurs, and Brontosaurs, and in particular, Ceratosaurs. That is in fact what our protagonists are about. Three young Ceratosaurs who are separated from others of their species while they're young, and they're growing up and dealing with all the challenges life throws at you, especially when you're on your own at a young age. That's our empire. I think it's gonna be a really exciting project, and I hope you'll come along with us for the ride.